Hello and welcome to Harsh Critique. Today we're going to do a draft by someone called Seven Ball Craze, who sent me their draft over the wiki.pm system, actually. They asked for a harsh critique, and they're going to get one. Item number, SCP-XXXX, can't really argue with that. Object class, Euclid Strike Through. <sighs> yep, I love it when a draft starts off telling me that it doesn't know, that the writer doesn't really know what they're doing. A Euclid, or it says Euclid Strike, but struck through, and then it says neutralized. So here's the thing, I don't like object classes in the first place, but when you strike through an object class, is it currently Euclid? Is it currently Euclid and being transitioned to neutralized? Is it immediately been neutralized? Are we neutralizing it? You... <sighs> With a strike through, you just confuse the reader. There's information that's not being given. And there's a previous containment procedures and current containment procedures. And the thing about that <laughs> is that previous containment procedures tells me that that's a whole paragraph I don't have to read, but I'm gonna read it just because. SCP-XXX is to be kept in a 75 liter tank, because a 76 liter tank would cause a breach, I guess, with a constant temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and a pH level of around 7. So it's got to have a neutral pH level. <laughs> but only around 7. SCP-XXX's diet consists of regular fish food. <laughs> that is super descriptive. Regular fish food. SCP-XXX's tank is to be cleaned every month. SCP has to be monitored to check for any escape attempts or other differences in their behavior. I love how those are the previous containment procedures, and the current containment procedures are SCP-XXX's tank is to be stored in storage unit A at Site-66, and the other instances are to be immediately contained when it occurs. Let's, wait, let's examine this sentence. Any other instances of SCP-XXXX are to be immediately contained when it occurs, the previous containment procedures are to be reused. <laughs> I know what they mean. They mean if a new version of SCP-XXX is found and contained, then they need to use the old previous containment procedures, but that's not what it says. It just says when it occurs, so it's completely nonspecific as to what it is. Description. SCP-XXXX were a group of five Puntigris Tetrazona, Instances of SBXXX were averaged, were averaged at a length of 8 centimeters and had a span of 2.5 centimeters. They had the ability to speak English, however, they could only be understood when they were above wall. <laughs> That's such an interesting little detail. <laughs> they could only be understand if they're above water. If they're below water, it sounds like. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. SBXXX has shown to have had. Nice sentence structure. An extreme desire to return back to the store. No idea what you're talking about. The store? What? Where did that even come from? And had even requested some staff to return them back to the store. <laughs> oh, man. You know what the problem with a lot of new writers is always that they have an idea in their head and they know what's going on and they just assume everyone else understands exactly what they already know. And that's what we're doing with here. So the person who wrote this knows what the story is and knows the backstory of these five little fish. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So they want to go back to the store. And they forget the fact that they never actually wrote about the f***ing store! <sighs> and it even ruins their behavior towards Foundation personnel who refused to return them were verbally hostile. Was verbally hostile, probably? But either way. Oh, man. SCP-XXX was also hostile and aggressive with other SCP-XXXX, but they kept them all in the same tank, because why not? Yeah, it's fine. Most of the arguments and disputes between them were verbally, and a few of them involving violence. See Addendum XXXX-3. Interview attempts had always failed, had always failed, which means that at some point they didn't fail, due to it either refusing to talk or being uncooperative. <sighs> I just, oh, okay, so the writer just didn't want to have to write interview logs. That's that's what we're at here. They're like, I can't write dialogue. So, um, they don't like talking to people. Yeah, that's it. You create an anomaly that can talk, but you don't want to write dialogue for it. So you're like, they can talk, they just choose not to. F 
f***ing idiot. Addendum XXX-1 on February 2nd of 2019, SCP-4620. Oh, hey, somebody put the number in there. Okay, it was discovered in a local fish shop called La Tienda de Pez, which I'm going to assume is just something like the fish shop, in Black Box, Texas. After multiple reports of something speaking to them without knowing who had spoke. Man, I'm almost wondering whether or not this person has English as a first language because a lot of these sentence structures are very, very, very awkward. Class B amnestics were distributed to witness of SCP-XXX's effects. Not witnesses, witness of. They didn't. Uh, all right, addendum xxx 2 which is an escape attempt log on 2505-2019, dash 2 attempted to escape containment by jumping to XXXX's backup tank nearby, because of course you put the two tanks next to each other, why wouldn't you do something not stupid? Uh, it was successful in jumping towards the backup tank, however, no water was present in the tank, because, you know, why would you? It's a backup tank. When Dr. Scott, whom was monitoring scp xxxx at the time arrived at the room scp xxx was still alive no, it doesn't say was still alive it just says was alive however xxx-2 avoided dr scott a fish a little tiny fish out of water was unable to be picked up by a person and had perished from dehydration <laughs> what kind of sentence structure is that uh, note from Dr. Terran. After this incident, backup tank was moved away and a grate was installed. Oh boy. Yep, you got a bunch of fish. Who cares? Let's just leave them in an open tank. Why the fuck not? And what's funny is this isn't reflected in the previous containment procedures. It doesn't look like. Like the moving, you know, moving other tanks away and putting a grate above it so they can't jump out. Not in the containment procedures. <sighs> Also, I just remembered the fish shop must be the shop that they want to go to. So it's like, ah, oh, they want to go back to the shop. You know, the shop, the shop. And then later on, it's like, so anyway, they were found at a local fish shop. <laughs> Incident 05-06-2019. For addendum 3. During the 5th of June, 2019... XXXX-5 was upset with the rest of scp XXXX and had attacked. God, there's a lot of had this and had that. Had attacked. scp XXX-4 and provoking, not provoked, but provoking XXXX-1 and XXXX-3. XXXX-4 had sustained major injuries and perished later. <laughs> perished. Great tone, man. XXXX-5 also sustained minor injuries and had been placed in a separate tank for a month. Uh, it was kept in the separate tank until it had it had expired <laughs> on July 9th. And interestingly enough, for this particular incident log, they wrote the words for 5th of June and they wrote the words for July 9th. Like, it's not numbers, it's 5th and 9th <sighs> of 2019. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Oh, it's a test log. Test 1, uh, 1507-2019. SCP-XXXX tank had an ano anomalous tiger bar place, place inside it. I am pretty sure they mean a non-anomalous. Yeah, because of the... Yep. XXX-1 and XXX-3 attacked the tiger barb after three minutes when they realized it couldn't talk. Yeah, so... <laughs> this, this says... SCP XXXX's tank had an anomalous tiger barb placed place inside it. I, I keep wanting to correct it in my like speaking. No, not placed inside it, place inside it. <laughs> when it should say SCP XXXX's tank had a non anomalous tiger barb placed inside it. Alright. Yep, that happened. Test 2, 1907 2019 scp XXX's tank had a goldfish placed inside it. Nope, place inside it again. Yep, still says place. scp XXX-1 ignored it while scp XXX-3 constantly annoyed it. <laughs> constantly annoyed it. I think probably means harassed. Uh, or like messed with it, but annoyed it. I, I don't know. You're giving it human characteristics. 
SCP-XXX-3 would later attack the goldfish, but we have no idea what happened to it because that's the end of the test log. It got attacked, I guess. Test <laughs> 3, 27, 2019. <laughs> SCP-XXX's tank had five tiny shrimps placed inside of it. Oh boy. There are so many things wrong with that sentence. SCP-XXX-1 ate them all before SCP-XXX-3 could look at one. Oh my god, these seem like they're written by a child. <laughs> and there's like flashes of like, oh yeah, this isn't a child writing it, but like every once in a while I'm like, did a kid write this? Test 4, 2107-2019. SCP-XXXX tank had D431345's hand inside of it. SCP-XXX-3 attached the hand when it first saw it. The D-Class was instructed not to take it out until told so. Dash 3 kept attacking it and Dash 1 joined in later. After 5 minutes, the D-Class was allowed to take his hand out. No medical attention was required for him. Okay, now what? Addendum 5. Oh, this is very short. On 12-10-2019, SCP-XXX-1, and later on 13-12-2019, SCP-XXX-3 perished. The expiration had come from a small tumor in their brain. SCP-XXX's tank was cleaned along with an autopsy. Wait, hold on. I'm going to say this sentence the way it is written. After scp XXXX's tank was cleaned along with an autopsy of SCP-XXX-3 occurred. That's the sentence. Nothing notable was found inside of SCP-XXXX-3. Wow. Okay, so somebody wanted to tell a story about some fish and they did a real bad job about it. This one doesn't make me angry so much as it makes me laugh because it's like... Why? I mean, I guess, like I said, they wanted to create a story about talking fish. Maybe they got fish of their own, whatever, and they kind of wanted to give them a story, but they know they can't write dialogue because looking at their writing, they're pretty... And I mean, they're doing all right. Looks like they could probably learn pretty quickly, but... They have, I don't know. Either way, I think this person has some potential, but Jesus, this is laughably bad. Well, I mean, maybe that's why they gave it to me. Either way, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> you guys, if you want to create a story about something you like, or anything like this, and it's not dangerous, go for it. I love these ideas. I love the idea of creating something that's not dangerous and trying to make an SCP out of it. But, but if you can't write, maybe work on that first. Take some basic English lessons. Uh, learn, like, creative writing courses and that kind of stuff. Just get your feet underneath you with this kind of stuff because this looks like it was written by a child or at least somebody who is very young i would bet that there's a strong possibility either way thank you very much for watching and i want to have a shout out to some of my newest patreons which you can see on the screen right now there's scp4682 who just pledged twenty dollars and andrew treon who just pledged five dollars both of them have joined this list of patrons that is growing every day. If you want to get a shout out of your own, you just have to donate at any level. And I will shout your name out in one of my weekday videos. These people are the people that help make sure this channel stays afloat. It's the kind of thing that makes me think that maybe I can actually do this long term. So thank you very much for being patrons. Thank you very much for subscribing. And by the way, hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever any of my stuff comes up. And thank you very much for watching.